ATC 11 and Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Two phones have a lot in common but a big price difference. So it's worth spending extra money to get the Note 8 over the ATC. Let's go ahead and find out. Now, excellent specs on both of these phones. Snapdragon 35 processor. Either 4 or 6 gigabytes of RAM on ATC. And I do have the 6 gigabyte model of that. First is 6 gigabytes of RAM on the Samsung. Now the Note 8 is a lot faster than the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. As you guys see, first one to boot up is the Samsung. And ATC up as well. Alright everyone, all the apps are closed down on both phones. And first up we have BBC News. Very close, white bands there for the Galaxy. Amazon. Wow, very, very close on both. YouTube. This one going to the HCC. Calculator. And clock. eBay next. Again, guys, extremely, extremely close on all of these. iFunny next. <laughs> yeah, guys, really extremely, extremely close once again. Photos. That one going to the Samsung. Modern Combat 5. So, 6.3 inch screen on the Galaxy versus 5.5 on HTC. Both of them are quad HD. Now, obviously, Galaxy does a much better bezels here on the top and the bottom. Uh, however, the HTC has a much better fingerprint scanner and a better placement right here. And we'll be covering that later in the video. Also, both these phones, two of the best looking ones on the market. Uh, we'll show you more of the backs here in a minute. Really gorgeous designs on both. Temple Run 2. So, Samsung winning the first game, Modern Combat 5. But it looks like this one is going to go to the HTC. Yep, HTC here. And final game, then more stuff. We got Ashford 8. And this one going to the Samsung. Okay, guys, and to the benchmark next. And as you see, higher score here on ATC, 182,000 versus 178. And also what's at the very top here on my phone. Clearing out the web history on both phones. And gonna close out, go back in. Alright guys, so we're visiting a few sites just to add Genicon first. And this one going to the ATC. Let's do INDB.com next. INDB. Narrow margin there for the ATC. And two more was to ATC and then Samsung. ATC.com. And very, very close. Final one was to Samsung.com. Samsung.com and this one going to the HTC. So overall web browsing going to the HTC and let's go ahead and do camera speed next. Now both these phones are 12 megapixel cameras on the back and on the Samsung you have two, the second one is used for zoom. We'll have real comparisons, video and picture in the future but for now it doesn't have the speed. And yeah, the Samsung is a bit faster here taking pictures. Fingerprint scanner next. On the HTC, it's located right here. And on the Samsung, it's located over here on the back. So testing out the speed. Now, I do much prefer the placement. Uh, well, the placement, the speed, pretty much everything on HTC. And both of them are nearly 100% accurate, but it is easier to access it on HTC. On the Samsung, a lot of times I misplace my finger. 
So yeah, this one pretty obviously going to the ATC. So it's pretty much a trade-off, but you'd rather have the fingerprint scanner right here or smaller bezels like on the Galaxy. Speaker quality test next. So we have ATC here first. And now to Samsung. Now on HTC you have two speakers, on the Samsung you have one. Personally, guys, I think both of them sound great. Maybe it sounds a little bit queer. And let me know in the comment section which one you prefer. Very, very competitive race. Great matchup. And before the final test, let's go over the specs of both phones. Now, 5.5 inch screen on ATC, 6.3 on the Galaxy. Both are quad HD. Front facing camera, I prefer the ATC. You have a 60 megapixel front facing camera on that versus 8 on the Galaxy. Now, rear camera on the Galaxy, you have 2. Both are 12 megapixels. And on ATC, you have 1 at 12 megapixels as well. And while we're on the back here, guys, look at that design. Absolutely gorgeous on both. Now, both these phones are made of metal and glass on the back. But on ATC, there's something unique here. Uh, the coin is actually inside the glass itself. So you guys see the blue coloring inside the glass right underneath it. And when you move the phone, especially outside, the color changes. So in my opinion, this is the best glass on any phone on the market. Both phones either 64 one gigabytes gigabytes internal storage and micro SD card support. 3,000 capacity battery on ATC. 3300 on the Galaxy, Snapdragon 35 on both, either 4 or 6GB of RAM on ATC, and I do have the 6GB model, and on the Galaxy 6GB of RAM, both phones were resistant, both fingerprint scanners, USB Type-C at the bottom, and let's take another look around the phones, just the edges, and actually speaking of the edges, on ATC you do have Edge Sense, so it's basically where you squeeze your phone like this. And then you have an action designated to it, so I have the camera. No headphone jack on the ATC, but you do have it on the Galaxy. And then also on the Galaxy, you have a pen. So for writing on the screen, doing notes, things like that, and we'll have a full video on this in the future. And finally, the ATC costs around $630, whereas the Galaxy costs around $930, so $300 difference. Amazing test so far, we have the final test here, multitasking. So going all the way back to the beginning, we have BBC News. And let me just say this, both these phones, along with the OnePlus 5, are the best phones on the market for multitasking. Really incredible jobs. I think Slight Advantage is there for the HTC. I think Slight Advantage is there for the Samsung. But overall, guys, you're going to see these are extremely, extremely similar. Now, there may be some surprises, but we'll see. But, uh, yeah, these phones, they really don't close out of apps. Really amazing jobs. And, you know, I mean, both of these are pretty much as, uh, as good as you can possibly get. Now, most phones are going to re uh, restart most of these apps. Photos. Excellent. Reconnecting on both, so not restarting from the beginning. And now I'm going to the ATC. Just a few more, let's do Temper on two. So I advantage there for the ATC, but the main thing here is neither phone is reloading, so excellent. And there's a couple more, let's do Chrome. We'll do Chrome, camera, and then we'll do the final one. Oops, I some quick on camera there. But I'm expecting Chrome's not going to refresh right here. And it does not. Okay, we'll go to camera on the Galaxy. Then we'll do the final one, Ash Fold 8.
Guys, nearly every other phone out there will refresh this, but these two won't. As you guys see right there, I mean, narrow margin there for the HTC, but obviously extremely close on both, excellent job. Incredibly close matchup and really tough to acquire a winner here. But if you guys think one won, let me know in the comment section below. So obviously guys, both these phones are in the performance, extremely, extremely similar. And it really comes down to whether you want to pay an extra $300 for the Note 8. That said, still a lot more testing to do between these two phones, camera test, battery life, and more. And of course, comparisons versus all the major smartphones on the market. So let me know in the comment section below if you want to see next. Please subscribe for more, we press them right there. And as always, thanks for watching.